everybody in this video i'm going to show you guys how you guys can recreate this header right here as you can see it's pretty modern it's simple yet it still catches the eye as you can see there's a button here for the call to action which is prime real estate and many landing pages and i'm just going to go into system.io backend and show you guys exactly how i would do this that way you guys can recreate it yourselves so i pretty much just created a sales page here empty canvas i added three sections here one's black one's white i added a little html element just to change the color of the section right here to show you guys exactly how this would look on system.io all right so this is all on default mode so usually sections come in content width as full page i like to use medium because it puts everything into one little section even when you stretch out the page it doesn't stretch it out uh, along with it, which sometimes looks weird in bigger screens. So I like just to keep everything within this medium content width section. So that's the first thing. And then after that, we got to see. So we got, let's say we have, it looks like we have many different columns. However, I'm going to use a three column element here just to get started. So let's put three columns here. I'm going to delete this old one that we had. Now we have three here. One's gonna be for the menu, one's, one's gonna be for the logo, one for the menu, and one for the call to action. So let me just do something like that. And let's go ahead and just add the logo right now. So we're gonna put an image there. I'm gonna choose this logo right here, which is my brand. And then let's see, we got the menu option here. So let's go ahead and add that there, make sure it fits. If we can find it. All right, here it is. And let's actually decrease the font size to make sure everything's going to align. Uh, this is margin, font size. And let's bring this down by increasing the top margin. Maybe 15 or so. That looks good. And then let's go ahead and add these, these five links. So let's, they got about. They have features. All right. Let's change this font size. I'm going to change the font size for the whole page. We're just going to go to settings. Let's Google fonts. Let's choose something simple. I think that looks nice. It's not the same one, but I feel like that one looks nice. Let's do. Let's do that one, actually. All right. So let's keep it like that. This is a light, lighter color. So let's go ahead and kind of change the play around with the colors as well. This is what tends to happen with design side of things. You don't, you just start playing around with things until you kind of like how they look like. So I'm gonna choose that the active color, the active link, the one with the page we're on, it's gonna be a darker color. All right, so this is where it gets kind of confusing. So you can see here, they got the login option and they got a call to action. And we only have uh, one more column here. So in this case, we're gonna add another uh, column. So let's put this here. Now, as you can see, we got two sections, one for the login and one for the call to action. All right, so let's go ahead and let's create this register button. So we're gonna go to buttons, drag that in there. As you can see, it's not, it's not looking too good. It's our job to fix it. There seems to be a padding. Let's remove that. Let's make this full width so it stretches to the full width of the column. Um, so we're going to go here, button width, full width. And these buttons on system.io right now, they tend to come with the bottom border. So we're going to have to remove that. As you can see here, border, it has one built in in the default. So we're going to remove that. Wait, actually, we got to add a solid border all around because that's what they use here they're not using any color in the fill it's only a border so let's change that to orange let's use this one right here and let's remove the button color and now we got to change the text color which is orange as well as you can see now it's starting to kind of look something like what we're trying to recreate we're going to delete subtext this one has some round edges. So let's go ahead and round these edges. Maybe we can add 10 on each side. 
not sure why it's not rounding them. Maybe if we click the preview, the live version will be round. It's not, but let's see. Let's try and fix this. This is part of the design process. We got to troubleshoot everything that pops up. All right, so let's do 20. Hit save. All right, there you go. Now I rounded the edges. All right, so now in this case, we got to add this login button here. In this case, I feel like it's, it'll be a button as well. So I'm just going to duplicate that, drag it over, and change this to no borders. That way we just have that that button still there, but it's it doesn't look like a button. And then we're going to change this text color to, to black. All right. Yeah, we got to change text to login something like that all right as you can see it's starting to look up similar something similar to that let's just make this smaller now it's our job to kind of align it and make sure it looks good so we're going to move the padding on this row to make sure this row this other row that we added matches up with the previous row that we had let's click save and let's see how this looks all right, so it's starting to look good. I mean, this could be closer to this button. We could adjust um, the alignment of this menu to make it more to the right. As you can see, the logo is over here, and then everything else seems to be on to the right. So let's go ahead and kind of move things around. We can stretch this out. We can do something like that, maybe. And we could align this center. Click save. Okay, so that's it's looking better. Now we can we can adjust this row as well. As we can maybe. We can squeeze this in there. I guess that's one thing that system.io sometimes it doesn't grab it doesn't let you align it because there's some glitch in the system. Alright, so let's go ahead and just add another row. In here, we're going to drag these two buttons into these areas. Let's delete this one since it's not letting us customize it. We're just going to refresh this. So there you go. It's starting to look a little better, but I still don't like it. So we still got to play around with this, make sure it fits our needs. All right. Now you can see everything's starting to look good. We could maybe bring this menu down and this this image down to make sure everything aligns in one line. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we need to remove this. Hit save. You guys just watch me go through this as I would with any project. So it's part of the process of developing uh, pages. You gotta play around with it and make sure everything looks good um, to your liking. So right now I just click section because the default section has some padding. I'm gonna remove the padding to make sure it looks kind of like a menu so let's see let's do this something like that let's hit save and then let's refresh this now as you can see now it's starting to look like a good menu that we can definitely use in our pages and it's starting to look something like this so let's change this link to register or any call to action but i'm just showing you guys that you guys can copy pretty much any design that you guys like online uh, just press that an accident and you can pretty much build anything on system.io i'm gonna remove some padding on this button and something like that save and then um there you go so now we just recreated this this menu right here which is pretty awesome right you can go on here on dribble.com you can find inspiration for different funnel designs and just copy them and I just walked you guys through the process there. Another cool feature that System.io has, let me just duplicate this real fast to show you guys this cool feature. So if you click section, if you click section and you go down and you click the sticky checkbox right here, it's gonna stick the menu up top. 
So as users start scrolling down, this menu is going to stay up top. So let's see, I'm scrolling down and that menu is always going to be there. So that's pretty cool to keep people in the loop and let them navigate around your funnels, your websites, all in one simple step. All right, so hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions on this process or if you guys need help building some other designs and specific sections here on system.io, make sure to leave a comment down below with something that you are looking to do. And make sure to subscribe because I'm going to start releasing more of these videos in my channel here pretty soon.